solid X contains only copper 1 sulfide and copper 2 sulfide. The following procedure was used to determine the weight percentage of copper 1 sulfide in solid X. First, we will follow the given procedure. Solid X contains only copper 1 sulfide and copper 2 sulfide. 1 gram portion of solid X was treated with 100 cubic centimeters of 0 0.16 moles per cubic decimeter potassium permanganate solution in dilute sulfuric acid media. When this solid sample X was treated with the given potassium permanganate solution, both copper 1 sulfide and copper 2 sulfide react with potassium permanganate. Now we will see the reactions. First we will move to the reaction between copper 1 sulfide with potassium permanganate. During this reaction, both copper plus 1 ion and sulfide ion undergo oxidation while permanganate ion undergoes reduction. During this reaction, copper plus ions oxidize to copper 2 plus ions. At the same time, sulfide ions oxidizes to sulfate ions. And we will move to the reduction. Permanganate ions reduce to manganese 2 plus ions. Next, we will move to the reaction between copper 2 sulfide and potassium permanganate. During this redox reaction, sulfide ions oxidizes to sulfate ions and permanganate ions reduces to manganese 2 plus ions. Therefore, this solution contains manganese 2 plus ions, copper 2 plus ions and sulfate ions. During the reaction, KMnO4 is added in excess. Next, this excess potassium permanganate was titrated with 0 0.15 moles per cubic decimeter Fe2 plus solution. And the volume of Fe2 plus solution required for the end point was 35 cubic centimeters. Question number 1. Write the balanced ionic equations for the reactions taking place in the above procedure. First, we will write the balanced ionic equation for the reaction between copper 1 sulfide and potassium permanganate in acidic medium. During the reaction, copper plus 1 ions oxidize to copper 2 plus ions and sulfide ions oxidize to sulfate ions. Then, Permanganate ions reduce to manganese 2 plus ions. Next, we need to find out the number of electrons involved in these oxidation reactions. When 1 copper plus 1 ion oxidizes to copper 2 plus ion, it releases 1 electron. But during this reaction, 2 copper plus 1 ions were involved. Therefore, the first thing you have to do is to balance the number of copper atoms. Therefore, when 2 copper plus 1 ions oxidize to 2 copper 2 plus ions, 2 electrons have been released. When 1 sulfide ion oxidize to sulfate ion, 8 electrons have been released. So, this is the total number of electrons involved in this oxidation process. When one permanganate ion reduces to manganese 2 plus ion, it gains 5 electrons. Therefore, reduction process involves 5 electrons. Now, balance the number of electrons. Please multiply 5 electrons by 2. At the same time, add 2 to permanganate ions as well as manganese 2 plus ions. 
Next, balance the number of oxygen atoms by adding water molecules. 8 oxygen atoms on the left and 4 oxygen atoms on the right. Therefore, add 4 water molecules. Finally, balance the number of hydrogen atoms by adding H plus ions. There's no hydrogen atoms on the left but 8 hydrogen atoms on the right. Therefore, add 8 H plus ions to the left. This is the balanced ionic equation for the reaction between copper 1 sulfide and potassium permanganate. Now we will move to the balanced ionic equation for the reaction between copper 2 sulfide and potassium permanganate in acidic media. During this reaction, copper 2 plus ions do not involve in any of these reactions, but sulfide ions oxidize to sulfate ions and permanganate ions reduce to manganese 2 plus ions. When one sulfide ion oxidized to sulfate ion, it removes 8 electrons. Therefore, this oxidation process involves 8 electrons. Now the reduction. When one permanganate ion reduces to one manganese 2 plus ion, it gains 5 electrons. Therefore, 5 electrons are involved in the reduction process. Next, we need to balance the number of electrons. Therefore, 8 multiplied by 5, 40. At the same time, we have to add number 5 to sulfide ions as well as sulfate ions. Then, 5 multiplied by 8, again it gives 40. Therefore, at the same time, add 8 to manganese 2 plus ions and permanganate ions. Next, balance the number of oxygen atoms by adding water molecules. 32 oxygen atoms on the left and 20 oxygen atoms on the right. Therefore, add 12 water molecules to the right. Finally, balance the number of hydrogen atoms by adding H plus ions. There are no hydrogen atoms on the left, but 24 hydrogen atoms on the right. Therefore, add 24 H plus ions to the left. This is the balanced ionic equation for the reaction between copper 2 sulfide and potassium permanganate in acidic medium. Now we will write the balanced ionic equation for the reaction between Fe2 plus ions and potassium permanganate in acidic medium. During this reaction, Fe2 plus ions oxidize to Fe3 plus ions and permanganate ions reduce to manganese 2 plus ions. When one Fe2 plus ion oxidize to Fe3 plus ion, it releases one electron. Therefore, this oxidation process involves just one electron. When one permanganate ion reduces to manganese 2 plus ion, it gains five electrons. Therefore, the reduction process involves five electrons. Next, we have to balance the number of electrons. Therefore, multiply the first equation by 5. At the same time, add number 5 to Fe2 plus ions and Fe3 plus ions. Next, balance the number of oxygen atoms by adding water molecules. 4 oxygen atoms on the left and there's no oxygen atoms on the right. Therefore, add 4 water molecules to the right. Finally. Balance the number of hydrogen atoms by adding H plus ions. There is no hydrogen atoms on the left, but 8 hydrogen atoms on the right. Therefore, add 8 H plus ions to the left. This is the balanced ionic equation for the reaction between Fe2 plus ions and potassium permanganate ions in acidic medium. Question number 2. Molar ratio between copper 1 sulfide and potassium permanganate is 1 is to 2. 
Then second part is molar ratio between copper to sulphide and potassium permanganate. Molar ratio between copper to sulphide and potassium permanganate is 5 is to 8. Third part, molar ratio between Fe2 plus and potassium permanganate. Molar ratio between Fe2 plus ions and potassium permanganate is 5 is to 1. This is the answer for the question number 2. Question number 3. Calculate the percentage by weight of copper 1 sulphide in X. Potassium permanganate was added in excess for this experiment. Concentration and the added volume of potassium permanganate were given. Therefore, first calculate the initial number of moles of potassium permanganate. Initial number of moles of potassium permanganate is 0.016 moles. This titration was performed to calculate the remaining amount of potassium permanganate. First calculate the number of moles of Fe2 plus ions. Then from the stoichiometry we can calculate the remaining amount of potassium permanganate. Concentration and the volume of Fe2 plus ions were given. Therefore we can calculate the reacted amount of Fe2 plus. The answer is 5.25 times 10 to the negative third. The stoichiometry between Fe2 plus ions and permanganate ions is 5 is to 1. Therefore, amount of remaining permanganate ions is 1 fifth of the amount of Fe2 plus ions. The answer is 0 0.00105 moles. Therefore, we can write the answer as 0 0.001 moles. This is the initial amount of permanganate ions and this is the remaining amount of permanganate ions. Difference between these two values give the number of moles of potassium permanganate reacted with copper 1 sulphide and copper 2 sulphide. Reacted amount of permanganate ions equals initial number of moles of permanganate minus remaining number of moles of permanganate. Therefore, number of moles of permanganate ions reacted with copper 1 sulphide and copper 2 sulphide is 0 0.015 moles. 1 grams portion of solid X was taken for this experiment and we have to calculate the weight percentage of copper 1 sulphide. If the mass of copper 1 sulphide is m grams, mass of copper 2 sulphide is 1 minus m because the total mass is 1 grams. Next, calculate the molar mass of copper 1 sulphide and copper 2 sulphide. Number of moles equals mass divided by molar mass. Therefore, amount of copper 1 sulphide equals M divided by 159. Molar ratio between copper 1 sulphide and potassium permanganate is 1 is to 2. Therefore, amount of permanganate ions Reacted with copper 1 sulphide equals twice the number of moles of copper sulphide. The answer is 2m over 159. Amount of copper 2 sulphide equals mass that is 1 minus m divided by the molar mass 95.5. Molar ratio between copper 2 sulphide 
and potassium permanganate is 5 is to 8. Therefore, amount of permanganate ions reacted with copper 2 sulfide is 8 over 5 times 1 minus m over 95.5. Total number of moles of permanganate ions is the sum of number of moles of permanganate reacted with copper 1 sulfide and number of moles of permanganate reacted with copper 2 sulfide. Substitute values for this equation using the previous symbol. 2m over 159 is the number of moles of permanganate ions reacted with copper 1 sulfide. This is the number of moles of permanganate ions reacted with copper 2 sulfide. This is the total number of permanganate ions. 8 over 5 is 1.6. Therefore, we can write 1.6 times 1 minus m divided by 95.5. Simplify this equation and you can find the value of m. Therefore, mass of copper 1 sulfide is 0.42 grams. Weight percentage of copper 1 sulfide equals mass divided by total mass times 100%. The answer is 42%.